everyone, this is Ruth from Viva Val Toro, and today we're going to take a closer look at the Britax Affinity Stroller. This is the newest stroller in the Britax lineup. It's in the luxury category, so it's a little bit higher price point than you might be used to seeing from Britax, but you're going to get a lot of great features, functionality, comfort, and a lot of style for sure. So the stroller comes with, in two separate components. You need to purchase both in order to have a finished stroller unit. The first component is the frame. The frame is available in three colors. You can get it in black, white, or silver. I have the silver here and really love the clean lines and the modern look. Um, the frame is also going to come with the wheels and it's going to come with the seat. The seat is going to be in a standard dark gray color um, and then you're going to purchase the second component to kind of give you that pop of color that you see. The second component is the color packs. They come in six different fashions. I have the red pepper and I absolutely love it. Um, they're bright and vibrant colors, so you can really customize the stroller um, for the look that you want. The color pack comes with several pieces. You're going to get your canopy, you're going to get your padded seat cushion, um, the harness strap covers, the buckle cover, and in the back here you're going to get a liner for your stroller basket that's going to give you a nice burst of color. So let's take a look at the stroller itself. Let's go from top to bottom. The handlebar is great. It's a single bar handlebar. Um, it's wrapped in leatherette, which is really nice. No foam um, that's difficult to clean. This is really easy to wipe clean. Um, and the center of the handlebar has a gripper that allows for one-handed steering. Um, it really does make it so easy to steer when you're, you know, you need to multitask. The handlebar is adjustable. Um, that goes down or it goes up. So if you're very short or very tall, you probably won't have a problem finding a handle height to suit your needs. Let's take a look at the canopy. The canopy on the Affinity is very generous. There is a pop-out sun visor. Um, there is a peekaboo window that has a magnetic closure, which is great. Uh, no Velcro tearing open when you want to uh, take a look at your sleeping baby. If you even need a little bit more coverage, you can unzip this hidden panel here um, and pop out for a little bit more um, canopy action on the front and then you have a nice mesh opening that's going to allow air to circulate and you're going to be able to see your baby a lot better. So taking a look at the seat. The seat is great. It accommodates a child up to 55 pounds. You're going to have about 20 and a half inches um, from the back of the seat to the top and then about 21 and a half inches from the bottom of the seat to the very top of the canopy. It's 12 inches wide and there's about a 14 foot I'm um, sorry, 14 inch drop from uh, the bottom of the seat to the leg rest. Um, there is a five point safety harness. The buckles on the Brytac strollers are great. My son, um, who is a little over two, still has not figured out how to escape, uh, which is great. The, um, oh, you can see that there is a push, uh, a bumper bar. It is um, wrapped in leatherette as well, and it says affinity on it. It's really nice high end touch, really a lot easier to clean when you're dealing with sticky toddler fingers. The leg rest is adjustable, uh, so if you have a sleeping tot, you can just uh, you know bring it up to rest their feet or bring it down if you need to. Uh, there are four recline positions on the Affinity um, to adjust uh, the recline position. It's actually in the front here. If you're familiar with the Be Ready or the Be Agile strollers, you know that the mechanism is in the back. Uh, so this is a little bit different. You just pull down on these levers, one on each side, and you bring the stroller into the recline position. You'll see that it maintains a V shape, so it doesn't go completely flat. Uh, and that's why it's recommended for ages six months and up. If you're strolling with a newborn or an infant, and you want it to be uh, completely flat, you'll need to get the optional bassinet accessory, which is sold separately, or use your infant car seat. So um, the seat is also reversible, so you can have baby facing outward or um, just pull up on these um, levers here with the integrated click and go adapter system and spin the seat around and lock it right in, hear the click, and you're good to stroll. Um, that's a really nice feature, you can recline um, this way as well, so it's really, really easy. Um, speaking of the infant car seat, this stroller is compatible as a travel system with either the Be Safe, which I have here, or the Chaperone car seat. And again, it's all integrated with the click and go adapter system, so you just put your baby in and you go. So it makes a really nice travel system. If you have another brand of car seat, 
Um, there are adapters available, so um, just have to find, make sure that the one you have is, is compatible with the adapter. Now let's look at the wheels on the Affinity. The rear wheels are 11 inches in diameter and they are pneumatic wheels, so they're air filled, so they can handle um, any terrain that you want to throw at it. If you're in grass or you're going over lumps and bumps in the road, um, these tires are going to handle it. The front wheels are 6 inch rubberized wheels and they are full swivel wheels, but you can also lock them in place depending on the terrain that you're on. There's a suspension system um, that is fully adjustable here on the back of the stroller. Um, and while we're at the back of the stroller, let's talk about storage since that's pretty important to me as a mom. There is a generous sized storage basket. You can fit a large diaper bag or some shopping bags, but that is pretty much it in terms of storage on this stroller. There's no cup holders, there are no extra storage pockets, so I'd really recommend getting a stroller organizer or extra cup holders if you don't have them already. I happen to have the Brytax stroller organizer here. It's really easy to attach. Um, with Velcro right on the handlebars. It's got two insulated cup holders and a magnetic closure system um, and some extra pockets and it's pretty sturdy. It doesn't interfere with the fold so I'd really recommend getting one of these for less than $30. It's going to save you a lot of hassle and make your life a lot easier. And last but not least, let's look at the fold since that's pretty important too, um, especially since I'm the one that's folding the stroller and taking it in and out of the car. Um, the Affinity is going to come into a standing fold. So in order to do that, you're going to want to put your handlebar all the way up because it's going to come resting on the handlebar. You'll see what I mean in a minute. Lock the brake. Um, there's a very easy linked brake here in the back. You're just going to want to step down on it. You can do this even in flip-flops. It's so easy. Just pull up on these tabs here and then bring the stroller down and it will catch on this automatic chassis lock here. So that's pretty much it. This is about as compact as it's going to get, which is pretty standard for a luxury stroller, a full lifestyle stroller of this size. It weighs about 25 pounds, um, which is pretty average uh, for a full size stroller. It's pretty easy to get in and out of the car and it stays shut thanks to this automatic lock. Um, overall, we've been having a great experience with this stroller. We really love it. I like that it's compatible with the other uh, Brytax infant car seats and other brands of infant car seats with the adapters. The seat is great. My son is really comfortable strolling in it and we've been getting lots of compliments. So thanks so much for watching.